Welp, I may have done it again. The Samsung sirens have lured me over to the dark side once more. Don't worry, I'll explain why I bought this, but first, let's do a quick unboxing. Hold up, things go wild when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Now, as you can see, the S24 Ultra does come with a cable, but like the iPhone and progressively more other phones, it does not come with a charging brick. The official reason is, of course, to save the environment. Let's call it an added benefit for Samsung that it will also help maximize their profit margins. Whatever the reason, Samsung assumes we all have plenty of power bricks laying around the house, and they would be correct in assuming so. I do find it very important that said charging bricks are of high quality and that they provide proper fast charging, which is why I'm very happy to partner with Ugreen for this video. OGs to the channel already know I'm a big fan of Ugreens. They offer high quality at a reasonable price point and they have a charger for literally every occasion. In terms of fast charging smartphones, my current favorite is probably the Ugreen Nexode Pro 65 watt mini. This charger supports the 45 watt Samsung super fast charging 2.0, but it can also charge the large majority of my other devices I carry with me on a daily basis. This thing is so powerful, it can even charge a 13 inch MacBook Air from zero to 70% in just one hour. And by combining Air Pyrotech with the GAN Infinity Tech, Ugreen manages to keep this charger so tiny without any loss of power or quality. So yeah, I don't mind giving up the dedicated Samsung brick I'd rather carry one of these around to power all of my stuff, not just my phone. If you want to check it out for yourself, there's a link in the description below. Okay, so the reason why I bought this is not because I hate my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I love my iPhone, it's a great phone, and perhaps even more important to me, the seamless integration with all my other Apple devices. Well then, why did I feel the need to put my iPhone aside for a bit and test this S24 Ultra? Well, quite frankly, I've been pretty bored with iPhone since the iPhone 12 came out. There's been hardly any innovation, which makes me want to try new things. Another reason why I like to switch it up from time to time is that we tend to get very set in our opinions about one brand or the other. I see people in my comment section making arguments against Apple that haven't been valid for years, which just shows you that they haven't tried an iPhone in ages. The same is true though, the other way around. Most of the hate against Android phones is based on very old ideas, not taking into consideration that Android has developed quite a bit in recent years. It's my humble opinion that you can't truly appreciate either Apple or Android phones without at least giving the other side a try from time to time. So for the color, I picked the titanium gray. I just think it's the best looking color. It looks like it was made for the titanium chassis. Everything looks really subtle and the branding sort of blends in. Whereas on the bolder colors, it sticks out like a sore thumb and I'm not a big fan of that much branding. Now, of course, this phone has a lot of glass and I'm not planning on rocking this phone naked. So do make sure you're subscribed to join me on my quest for the perfect case. More on that in my next videos. In terms of design, obviously the big change of the S24 Ultra is the new flat display. I like the boxy designs. I was happy to see Apple return to it with their iPhone 12 lineup, and I'm glad to see Samsung taking this approach as well. 
I just think it looks dope. Plus, if you're into note taking, I do think a flat surface like that is much more practical than the rounded edges. What I'm gonna say next is probably gonna upset some of my Apple peeps, but I do believe that the display on the S24 Ultra is the best smartphone display available today. The dynamic OLED 2X looks absolutely stunning on the 6.8 inch display and a 3120 by 1440 resolution is super crispy. A quick tip, if you're new to Samsung phones, you do not get the full resolution out of the box. Standard, it's set to full HD, meaning 2340 by 1080. You have to actively go into the settings and change it to QHD to enjoy the full resolution. The peak brightness on this thing is also insane. At 2600 nits peak brightness, it is 100 nits brighter than the already impressive brightness on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Lastly on the display, this time it is Corning Gorilla Armor, which is apparently the toughest glass Samsung has ever put on their phones. But more importantly for me as a content creator is that it's 75% less reflective compared to other glass. Now, of course, those figures are mainly thrown about for marketing purposes, but when we put the S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro side by side, you can immediately tell the difference. The S24 Ultra has much less glare, which will be very useful for me in terms of filming the device and of course it will make it much easier to use the phone outside in daylight as well. The camera system by and large remained the same with the exception of the telephoto lens. The telephoto on the S23 Ultra gave us a 10x zoom but it was only 10 megapixels. The S24 Ultra offers 50 megapixels but with a 5 times optical zoom. Personally I think I'll be getting way more use out of that 5x zoom at the higher quality I don't often feel the need for a 10x zoom, but do let me know in the comments if that 10x zoom is important to you and why. I'm really curious to hear what you guys use it for. All right, so it's a great looking phone, great design, amazing display, and a good camera system. But that's not what attracted me to the S24 Ultra. What made me very curious is Galaxy AI. Powered by the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 4 Galaxy processor, whatever that means, Samsung made a big push this year into AI on these phones. My favorite implementation has to be the circle to search feature. Essentially, you can circle anything from any screen on the S24 Ultra and it will instantly show you a bunch of search results. And I have to say those results are very, very accurate and way faster than any manual Google search could have been. Another really cool feature is generative AI inside the camera app. I mean, most of you have probably seen or even played around with generative AI. It's where you basically ask AI to take an image and make it wider, basically intelligently expanding an image as if you were simply zooming out. Now, I've always been very impressed by that technology, but to have it at your fingertips like that is just next level. The last AI feature I wanna talk about is live translation, and this one really is mind boggling. You can essentially have a phone conversation in real time, speaking in your own language, while the person on the other side speaks in their own language, and the phone's AI will translate all of that in real time so you can literally have a flowing conversation. I do a lot of traveling and preparing those trips can sometimes be a bit daunting, especially if the person on the other side doesn't speak English. This could be the ultimate hack for that and I can't wait to try this out in real life. All right guys, so there you have it, my first impressions of the S24 Ultra. I honestly can't wait to deep dive into this device and do a full review down the line. I'll also be comparing this to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, so please do get yourself subscribed if you wanna check in on those. I post new videos every week, so plenty of fresh content coming your way. If you enjoyed the video, please give it one of these. It really does help the channel. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for some links to videos you might also wanna watch.